International financial companies came to Ukraine to make money transfer business here. About their expectations, we've talked with Amit Shurimali, cluster manager of Express Money Services. Tell us uh, what, what your company can propose to Ukraine and why you choose Ukraine to make business here. Well, um, Express Money is one of the most upcoming uh, global brands in the money transfer industry today. Uh, today we are spread in about uh, almost about 150 countries with about 170,000 locations across the globe and uh, we intend to be on in each and every country by 2015. Uh, I guess we should be there everywhere on this planet. Now, as uh, uh, answering to your questions, uh, Ukraine is uh, definitely one of the most promising markets as far as the CIS region is concerned. And uh, we are looking to uh, develop the CIS region as a whole, but then obviously uh, Russia, Ukraine, these are some big markets wherein it receives a lot, in, lot of inbound transfers, international money, uh, transfers. And uh, that's the reason why we are as well over here. Uh, and because we know that we, we, we are spreading our wings in the European and in the, uh, in the, in the United States uh, as well. And we, are, we, are, we have a very strong presence in the Middle East. Uh, so these are, I guess, some of the uh, uh, some of the countries from where Ukraine does receive inbound remittances, and we provide uh, services at very competitive rates. Uh, Express money is uh, like like as we say in our tagline, affordable, uh, and uh, you know we are very affordable basically and very reliable brand. So we live up to that expectations, and uh, I guess that should help. Uh, uh, Express Money and Ukraine also in terms of getting some those extra uh, transfers through our company. Uh, do you have experience of making uh, this business in uh, CIS countries? Well, uh, yes, Express Money apparently is uh, is operational in CIS from 2003 onwards, I guess. And today, Express Money has part has its own direct. Uh, we have appointed our own direct agent partners, which are uh, the uh, banks in various countries, uh, CIS countries. And in addition to that, we also have par strategic tie-ups with some of the other money transfer systems or the banks out here. And uh, as of date, I guess, uh, if, if my memory is good enough, I guess we are close to about 17,000 locations across the 11 CIS countries, uh, you know, starting Armenia, Azerbaijan, uh, Georgia, Moldova, uh, Ukraine, uh, Russia, uh, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. So what are the main difference between making uh, business with uh, CIS countries and uh, the countries from Europe, maybe? Well, um, I feel the uh, the number of money transfer systems that operate uh, within CIS are undoubtedly huge. I mean, today what we're talking about, almost about 30 money transfer systems within the CIS region, uh, which, uh, yes, I mean, I, I do not want to comment because it's, it's an individual business and, you know, everyone wants to get into it. But then at the end of the day, what's happening is, uh, uh, you know, there are so many money transfer systems out here and everyone is partnered with the bank. Uh, and, uh, you know, it could be a disadvantage, it could be an advantage. I mean, always there are two sides of the coin. I mean, uh, so I guess, you know, it is it is very highly competitive market as compared to any other markets. Uh, yes, Europe also does have uh, the local domestic operators, but then personally I feel that CIS is very challenging in terms of uh, the money transfer system. Is it hard to make this business in Ukraine? Uh, is it uh, if there are some problems with law maybe or uh, with uh, our banks? Well, I, uh, uh, if I understand your question, I guess there are equal number of uh, money transfer companies in Ukraine as well. I mean, if I, if you take the uh, some of the local money transfer operators, like uh, you have the leader contact, uh, uh, Unistream, uh, uh, Blitz, Analik. I mean, I guess you have every top player 
uh, local player uh, who operates in Ukraine. And as I just mentioned some time back that, you know, it, 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 it is a positive and it is a negative factor as well when there are so many people operating in this market. Because, yes, I mean, I know it is good for the customer from the customer's point of view because they get a very good deal uh, in terms, uh, I mean, you know, in terms of sending, transferring money. They have to pay very less fee. Uh, but then at the end of the day for uh, money transfer operators like us, it, it becomes... Uh, I mean, it's it's a challenge because because uh, you know the revenues are really hit. Uh, so I, I personally have a different outlook altogether as far as um, uh, uh, the CIS uh, region is concerned. I mean, that's my uh, that's out of my experience. So yeah, but then nevertheless, uh, we are here uh, like any of the other operators, and we are sure, like how we have made a mark of uh, mark of Express Money in some of the other countries across the globe. I'm sure uh, it is a matter of time. Uh, and we should be uh, well, a very, very pretty well-known brand in the CIS region, which will offer services at most affordable and reliable, uh, uh, you know, at reliable rates. Yeah. While well, choosing the company uh, to transfer uh, my money, yes, when I choose, uh, what should I look for? What I should know about this company? Well. Uh, See, today, I mean, if, if, if I have to make it much easier to answer, like, see, today, uh, uh, people like uh, Express Money, uh, Western Union, MoneyGram, Coinstar, uh, RIA, or, or all these companies, you know, today we are, we are there in the market. Everyone knows us. Uh, we comply to the, uh, to the rules and regulations laid down by the respective uh, countries. And, uh, you know, we have our network. Uh, so I guess when a person is looking to transfer the car, transfer any kind of money, uh, he should be. He, uh, I'm sure he should be aware of his uh, uh, location that where he wants to transfer money. And if if this particular company has its own location, uh, it has a network out there, then yes, they could go ahead and uh, transfer money safely. About expectations of international money transfer companies, we've talked with Amin Shrimali, cluster manager of Express Money Services. Thank you for your time. That was Alexander Kulibaba from Kyiv for Dukaskopy TV.